Hi guys, uh, the name is Mark and this will be the last video that uh, I'll probably do on the birth uh, Ontario birth certificates and so we've established here that basically the government uh, in prior videos came along claimed that you were a deserted child you had seven years come along claim this kid and if you didn't come along claim this kid we've established that they drew up a birth certificate and this says birth certificates just a piece of paper I drew up all caps has the Bank of Canada government of Ontario government of Canada on it your DOB all that stuff you are a name your upper case assemblages which is not your name it's their name and how do we know this it says that this is required to establish a legal, a legal, the oldest form of prostitution identity. So you're going to become a hireling slash prostitute and uh, to obtain a Canadian passport. So you can uh, pass through their fictitious ports, apply for a health card, driver's license, acts of licentiousness, wickedness, so CIL, social insurance number, enroll in school. Who goes to school? Well, we've established fisc fish go to school, settle an estate or access pension, pens I on, all comes down to basically everybody's running around signing things with a stiff pen, we all know a stiff pen has no conscience, that's what Dan says, and then we, so we go in here and it says required to establish a legal identity, so if you've rocked up and applied for this, and it says who can apply for an Ontario birth certificate, it says well you can apply if you want to uh, admit to being a person which you're not you're the flesh and then you're rocking up app lying to become a person who you never were which we've all established the person is the dead piece of paper and there there's the dead right there there's the soldier sold your you know soul stock exchange the whole nine yards right so effectively people if you're rocking up to court and you've applied to agree to be a person which is a piece of paper well then obviously you are in a full blown out legal identity and they will identify you as such so if you have one of these you drop a death certificate you state that you are no longer this this person is dead and you will never operate this fiction again now that you've come to the conclusion that basically if you keep participating it's fraud but if you don't it's not fraud so effectively people Okay, do not rock up into court claiming that you do not have a person if you've applied for one of these and then agreed to state that you are the person who is the subject of a piece of paper of the birth certificate. So I'm going to leave it at that. I can't keep it any more simple. They've said up here, they've said down here that you've applied, you're a liar, you become a person, which you're stating that you're a piece of paper and you're subject to a piece of paper, which is the birth certificate. And it says right here, required to establish a stable a legal identity so people they're telling you right there they're a bunch of whores and they're getting right into prostitution with legal the oldest form of prostitution we've established where you take hoes and if you took her out for dinner it wasn't it, it wasn't prostitution and that's exactly what the government's doing here people they're just taking you out for dinner and giving you a few glasses of wine and making it look like it's all tickety-boo and then you're signing up you're sending up and rocking up to agree to be a person who is the subject of a piece of paper and any judge will always administrate your sorry ass because we've read what a subject is and it states that basically you've been subjected, right? So I can't put it any clearer than that. And the part where it says that uh, we're going to come into this just for a second, just because, and we'll go like this. And we shall come to subject and... Listen to what it says here. It says that all things are based back on this. Are based back on this. It all comes down to this. Every government contract that's been legislated comes down to this. And how do I know? Because we're going to come up to subject. And we're going to read what subject says. So if you're subject to a piece of paper, which is the birth certificate. And let's go... There we go, we should be subject. It says, in logic, that concerning which the affirmation in a proposition is made. So they made a proposition for you to come along and apply. And it says, that concerning which the affirmation in a proposition is made, the first word in a proposition. An individual matter, individual matter considered, coincide read, is the object of legislation. We've established that this is definitely the object of legislation, hence legal legislation, right? So now we're just going to zoom back up here and we're going to keep going. 
It says the constitution of several of the states require that every act of the legislature shall relate to but one subject. There's the subject, kids. It's that all dangerous, almighty, elusive, illusory birth certificate. And then it goes on to say there, so they tell you to, but what? But one subject. So even if you don't have a driver's license and all that stuff, but you have a birth certificate and you think you're going to run around and drive, there is only but one subject, and they will subjugate you to this one subject. And then it goes on to say, so legislature shall will relate to but one subject, which shall be expressed in the title of the statute. And the minute you get into that birth certificate, man, Obviously, there's titles and there's bank account numbers on that, and it states that it's not to be used for ID, and yet here they are saying it's used to require uh, an established legal identity. So I guess they're they're uh, it's basically uh, the, they're allowing you to walk into fraud. They tell you one thing, and then they're telling you another. And so effectively, we're going to take one more peek at this and. Then it goes on to say in constitutional law, and this is still under subject, it says, one that owes, O-W-E-S, owes money, debt, allegiance to a sovereign and is governed by his laws. Now, who is the sovereign that you owe money to and, and these laws? If I drew up all these laws, oh my God, people would say, hey, bud, you're nuts. I'd wind up dead by tomorrow. Anyhow, people, it's just that simple. So please, we've, we've established what a birth certificate is in Black's Law. You've obviously given yourself up for adoption to state that you're a person, you are a Canadian, and which you're not. So we'll leave it at that. Much love, respect, and light out to all. Always cheers. Bye.